Hi guys, this is TM over here and today I bring you a video tutorial in how to install uh, a custom ROM in your Gear 2. Well, this custom ROM that I'm going to install is the latest one and also the first one. Well, actually this is the version uh, number 2, but uh, it has some improvements. Uh, and well, let's get started. So. First of all, just go right here to your gear. And when you are into your gear, just go into the settings and then scroll down, go ahead and enter the gear info and then go about gear. Well, over here, make sure that you have the latest NE5, as you can see over there in the software version. Right over here, you can see that it ends in N and then an E and then a 5. If you have uh, this NE5, well, this means you, you can proceed with this tutorial. Well, so this is only for the Gear 2. The Gear 2 now probably, uh, I'll, link, I'll leave the link in the description uh, for that one, for the, the file to, to, to install for the, for the Gear 2 Neo. But this one that I'm going to install is for the Gear 2, as you can see the camera over there. Uh, so this one is the one that I'm going to install. Okay, so first of all uh, What you need to do? Go right here to the uh, Yeah, first of all you have to go into the download mode so to do that just go ahead and stay pressing the home button and After it restarts just press one two three times Press now when it says rebooting and this will show up well so over here if you press the home button uh, you could choose what you want uh, what is the option that you want to you want to enter I want to enter the download that's the second one to do that just stay pressing the home button okay so as you can see it is in download mode and now I'm going to connect it to the computer so just go right here Go ahead and put in the USB dock. Well, my USB dock is uh, doesn't stick. It's broken. It doesn't stick. So I'm going to use this peg because there's a little piece of plastic that is broken. Well, just just connect it. You connect it normally. But I'm going to connect it with a peg so that it works. Okay, so. Okay, so just leave it into the download mode and now just go right here. I'm going to put this right here so you can see that it is in download mode. Uh, and I'm going to connect the other end of the USB uh, cable to the computer. Okay. Okay, so it is connected. And now let's go to the computer. Okay, so here in the computer, go to the download, go to the to the description, to the description, and over there you will find the download links. Uh, you'll find a download link for the Gear 2 and the other one for the Gear 2 Neo. So I'm going to do it with the Gear 2, but you do with the Gear 2 Neo if you have it. Uh, and also, you will also need the Odin 3.09. Probably you have downloaded it uh, in an earlier video of mine, but there's also a link in the description to download that. So, download the ROM file, it's this .tar file, as you can see right here. Uh, it's 399 megabytes, and you have this uh, Odin 3.09. So, now go right here and create a folder. Go to new, and then a folder, and then name it Odin. Odin. And now, go over there and then drag this to the audit folder. And right over here, uh, the ROM file, go ahead and put it in the, the audit folder too. Now we're going to open it. Okay, so now we have this, these two files right over here. And go ahead and right click it and then click on extract here. 
So mine is in Portuguese, but you have yours in extract here. And it will extract both of the files that are in the zip file to this folder. Okay, so now that you have this over here, just go ahead, right click it, and then run as administrator. If a pop-up shows up, just click OK. Well, OK, so now, as you can see, this blue rectangle right here means that it is connected. Make sure that you have the auto reboot in the F reset time ticked. And then go right here to AP. And then, well, uh, choose the, the, the ROM file that is in the Odin folder, as you can see right here. So choose it and then click on Open. Well, this might, this can take a while. Uh, well, the file is loaded and as you can see, you can see over there that it says added. So, well, it is added and your gear 2 is connected. So now all you gotta do is press start. So, okay. So I already, already pressed start. And now it is going to install the latest, uh, not the latest, but this custom ROM. Okay, so now it's the time to talk about uh, what, what are the different things in this ROM. What does this ROM has? So first of all, uh, it's based on the on the latest NE5, just like we saw that, the software version. It is already rooted and imagine that you and most of you have your gear 2 connected to uh, a non-Samsung phone and well this uh, this um, this ROM has uh, a specific script that helps to, to save battery uh, when the gear 2 is connected to a non-Samsung phone because uh, it has a big uh, battery drain. Well, to us that uh, use a Samsung phone with our gear, because I use my Galaxy S4, uh, there's no problem with that. Well, we don't need that script, but if we do, the script is over there. We also have a boot animation and a shutdown animation changed to the Tizen stock emulator. And the camera sound is removed already, so you don't have to do nothing. And there's also the Android L font, the Roboto Lite. Well, these are the main things. And also you can change a bunch of uh, other things, uh, like, the, like the processor speed, the governor, power saving mode, and stuff like that. The frequency of the, of the processor. But, uh, well, now let's go back to our gear. So here in the gear, it is resetting right now, as you can see in the screen, and also in the gear. Okay, and I'm going to disconnect this from the computer, to disconnect. And as you might have seen, the, the as, you, as you might have seen, well, the... The boot animation was kind of different, it was the Tizen Expert, not the Tizen Expert, but the Tizen, uh, the Tizen animation, Tizen boot animation, and well, it is already rooted, and well, let's test the camera. We okay, so have a yellow, no sound at all, as you can see right here. So it is working perfectly, as you can see, and gear info, okay, and as you can see right here, it's in the latest softwood version, and well, it is working. Let's test the, the fonts right here, display font, font style, okay, so there it is. You can see over there the Roboto. Yeah, it's this one. This is the Android L font. Alright guys, so there you go. For those of you who are waiting for a custom ROM, well this is the one. 
and probably in a later in a later video uh, I'm going to to show you how you can how you can increase the sounds of the gear 2 well uh, as you can see the, the sound is not very bad but uh, it can be louder so I'm going to show you that probably in another video uh, so stay tuned for more stuff like this uh, don't worry I'll be showing you the latest custom ROMs for your gear 2 and well subscribe the channel for that and press like if you like this video and leave a thumbs up and also leave uh, in the link in the, in the comment section below what you think about this ROM uh, if you have found if you have find any bug any bugs or stuff like that just uh, comment right here so that the developer uh, of this custom ROM that is not me the developer is uh, a guy called Skin uh, Skin 1980 1980 uh, that's his name from the XDA, XDA developers um, and well that's his wrong I'm just showing it so if you like the videos leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more so I'll see you guys in the next video this was TM